What's up, Panther Nation? It's Brianna Dahlquist for Primetime Sports. I am live in New Orleans, right in front of the Lakefront Arena, where the Georgia State Panthers dominated Texas State. Now, Alex, yep. we're talking predictions. Yep. Cedar Grove versus Tucker. Yeah, what well, look. Who you got? No. And you're definitely just sweeping at no, your no, house. No, no, no. Listen, I've been to your house. First and foremost, and maybe you need some practice in curling as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, message received. Uh now, what's better than hot waffle fries from Chick fil A after a three hour class? How about having all your favorite teams win this week? Dev, come on over here. You gotta come on, Dev. Man, he's, he says he's a better three point shooter than you. Uh, you know, I honestly don't think I think I just had an off night tonight. Uh, <laughs> you know, we are outside the conditions where we didn't. Oh, oh. The conditions. conditions. Yeah, it's the condition. Well, you know, in the wise words of GSU's very own Ludacris, we're gunning for that number one spot, okay? <laughs> Push it to your Drake. Drake, of course. Come on Always. now. Come on. Drake, Drake better than him. He don't, he don't even have to pay attention to Push it right now. Oh he can, he can brush that off. We'll talk about that later. Now, throughout the game, I, I, I heard a, a particular section saying, go Malik, go Malik. I said, who are those people? It turns out your family is here from Texas, from Miami, Florida, from Tampa, Florida. E literally, every one of your family showed up here today. And we have one message for you guys. One, two, three. Go with today being the International Women's Day and March being the month of athletic training, we thought what a great opportunity it would be to showcase someone that's so important to Georgia State University, Danica Johnson. It's been a couple of weeks since our last show. I mean, we had midterms and then we got to kick back for spring break and that was awesome for me. How'd those two weeks go for you? They were fantastic. I mean, my March Madness bracket, not a good thing. <laughs> I had Georgia State taking down Cincinnati, and who could have predicted that Virginia would lose to a 16th seed? Uh, like, nobody. I mean, nobody. congratulations to UMBC, but my bracket is now beyond busted. What's up, guys? This is Brianna Dahlquist with the GSU Jam. Our police department is actually having a scrimmage pretty soon. It's about to be lit. Stay tuned. Coach Elliott and the gang are looking for exceedingly and abundantly blessings this weekend as they take on Appalachian State. One of my favorite quotes by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King is life's most persistent and urgent questions are what are we doing for others? Your stipulation from joining is that it had to be on MLK week. Why? After grooming for a full season, the Panthers finally reveal their secret weapon. No, not an actual lethal weapon, but he is a 6'5 pass first guard that has been preparing for his moment all off season. You guys already know what it is. It's team 1-1 one, one, NBC's 11 Alive. If you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. Hey guys, I'm Brianna Dahlquist in New Orleans, live from the Lakefront Arena, where the Georgia State Panthers dominated and defeated UT Arlington 73 to 64. We're switching it up a bit and doing things a little bit differently today. That's right, as you can see, this is the first episode ever with two women side by side anchoring. Georgia State Panthers took on Troy University today. Now for fans, it may seem like a regular game, but for the Panthers, this was personal. I can honestly, truly say I would not be here without my mentors, without my Alex Benton, without my Nefertiti Jacquez, without uh, Tiffany Blackman of the NFL Network, even without my family, my sisters and my loved ones, my brother and my father. Tell us about the vital role mentorship plays in young children, especially here in Atlanta. Coach Elliott, first and foremost, congratulations on your first win ever as Georgia State University's head coach. Not only were you able to bring that win home from Charlotte, but the first shutout game in program history. Now, Jeff, you quiet over there, but I bet you weren't quiet when you turned on that TV and saw your face on SportsCenter. Can you talk about that? At just 14 years old, you are considered the number one wide receiver in the country. When I think about your life, I think about how blessed you are, and I think about God's favor on your life. I think about your beautiful wife, gorgeous daughter, who is not only beautiful, you know, on the outside, but she's a doctor. She is brilliant. Your son, who's an all-star player, I mean, stand out, lighten up the court, and the cherry on top, your beautiful granddaughter. You would humble yourself so lowly that you would wash another person's feet. Why do you do that? 